Greetings everybody, Joseph Green Mountain Gold Trap. Some of you may remember this spot from last year and I got hung with me today, but I broke out, I did some work right in here. Now, quite often in the fall months, after a nice warm summer when it gets starts to get cold in the fall, you get kind of chilly, so I start doing scouting. And I found this spot here, had a nice inside bend, this bedrock, and look at those pieces that can break out over there. So that's what I want to work on today. I've been waiting to get at this. I mean, there's all kinds of it through here. So that's what I'm going to work on and see what we can come up with. Can't do much of anything else. Plastic shortage, I'm having a hard time getting a polycarbonate sheet, so here I am. Guess I can't complain too much. Catch you in a bit. Well, I've just started Hung's working over in here, but pulled some rocks out of this little crack right here. I mean, all this stuff can break out of here. That's a honking piece, but if I get these other ones out of here, I might be able to roll it down in. <coughs> all of these, and they're going in the right direction, but I decided to take a little walk over here. I did stand up on this rock last time I was here, but I didn't look down inside like I just did. Here's a court seam right here. So I saw that, and it keeps going. There's quartz inside this bedrock. But I came down here, and look what I found. Now, y'all, one thing you need to know in gold prospecting, gold follows an iron horse. That's something I learned from a friend of mine. Look at that. And there's another seam down there. Right there. Goes right up in. And all up inside that little cavity. But, I'm under an overhang right now. That rock could go any time. Any of these could go any time. That's sketchy. <laughs> but I gotta sample that. I just have to. I mean, maybe down there, because the gold's gonna erode out of this and flow down where it can't go any further. And unless the water's really, really, really high, uh, this isn't going to be moving much. It'll probably stay stratified because I mean where I am right now This would have to be like a whirlpool, so it's not going to get swept out So I probably should test that Boy There's a bug right in there where part of it washed out Hey, I'll keep you posted. Hopefully I don't die. So we abandoned that spot up there. I know there's gold there, but there's a whole lot of rock to move to get to it. It's all stratified down in between the rocks and so on and so forth. So I brought my three foot riverbed hog today with the hopes to run it and there was no place to set it up up there. So we've come back down here to the fault zone. Got a good setup, my usual location. And I'm digging down here in between these rocks. I just did a clean out, got 31 colors. 
after digging for maybe 20 minutes. So, well, 15, 20 minutes or so. So I'm gonna keep on digging here and see what else I can come up with. Could follow it right back. Last year, dug out around that big slice rock that I could never get out of there, but did on both sides of it and all the way around it, and it's all filled back in, but never did anything over in here, so that's why I'm checking it. We'll catch you in a bit. I'll let you know what happens at the end of the day if I don't shoot anything between now and then.
like rhubarb? Japanese knotweed. Kind of looks like bamboo. Once it grows up. Pretty good. Nice snack when you don't bring it into the river. You want to get it when it's young, though.
for the day. I might crack up some rocks before we leave, but it's getting kind of late. Not too, too bad. That's some nice, that's a nice chunky piece right there. There's a bunch of them are in there, pretty chunky for small, you know, being small, they're still chunky, but anyway, if I find anything, I think I'm going to try to, uh, got my pry bars, but I'm going to try to split these two here, get them apart. And that's where I got all that gold before. Right up in there. So I'll see if I can split these apart and see what I can get. I should bring my suction hand dredge down in here and clean the bottom of that out. At some point, you get in between those two. Oh yeah, there's gold here. Alright, so I managed to break one piece out of there. And there was only two tiny flakes, but I can't, you know, I gotta, like I said, it's getting late. I need to bring my suction hand dredge down in here. That'll come out. And that's going to be fun to move. Get these boulders out of the way, all these rocks. And get down in between those two next time I come. Maybe break these out. There's a lot of material in between those two. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you all for coming along. Thank all my subscribers. And those of you who have not subscribed, please feel free to do so. It doesn't cost a thing. Don't forget to leave a comment. And like. We'll catch you all later.